Are you as excited as I am about the fall season coming up? I love, 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 love fall colors, love fall season, love fall clothes. I'm already starting to compile some things, but I want you to mark your calendar for Thursday night, September 7th. Write it down right now. If you have your phone near you, pop it into your calendar. 7 p.m. Thursday night, September 7th. I am hosting a live trend party over on the Style by Color Facebook page. It's free to attend. And I'm going to kick off the fall season for you by sharing some really relevant trends. I'm going to reveal the colors of the new closet outfit planner that is coming out for fall. You know, that's our signature product around here. I think every woman should own it. And I'm gonna give you some tips on how to curate your closet for the fall season so you don't have to clean the whole thing out at once and you can do it pretty quickly. So, mark that down. I hope I will see you there. Today on the channel though, I am going to share with you some tips on what to look for when it comes to jewelry trends for fall. And I am seeing some really big things this season no pun intended, but big trends, big statement pieces, little is not in anymore. And so let's take a look. I've got five trends I'm gonna show you. Most of them I've got a more uh, expensive piece and an inexpensive piece so you can see the difference. Some of the inexpensive pieces are from Paparazzi, which is a $5 line. And then the others are from uh, Walmart and they're like $12, I think was the most expensive one. So they're all like five, 10, 12 max. And then stick around to the end because I have a really fun activity that I am going to share with you how to do it with your friends, whether that's your Bible study friends, whether you play cards with these gals, whether you're, uh, you know, you go to church with them, maybe you're in, a, in an over 55 a community and you've got a clubhouse and you can gather some girlfriends together. It's a really fun thing to do with your friends. I'm going to show you one that I did at the end with my friends and it's just a great way to get together and to get some new stuff. So I'm going to show you that at the end. All right, let's get started. The first trend that is really big for fall is statement necklaces and I'm seeing them show up in a number of ways, three ways particularly, pearls, stones, and drop necklaces. So I'm gonna show you an example of each. So let's look at the stones first. And so the first necklace that I'm showing you here is from Free People. It's $68, the stones are genuine. I'm pretty sure they are. I think that's what it said on their site. And it comes in a couple of colors, three or four, but absolutely beautiful. And so if you're kind of somebody who really doesn't want super huge statement piece, you want a statement piece, but you don't want it to be overwhelming, go for a stone, a genuine stone, because it kind of softens your look a little. It's not like this, right? Pearls were like, woo, you know, it's a little calmer and I love it. And so that is my the more expensive piece that I'm showing you today and then paparazzi this next piece that I'm showing you is actually a synthetic uh, stone and it is only five dollars I think it's beautiful I think it's absolutely beautiful so if you want the turquoise look because you know that whole western wear thing is in but I mean I think it's absolutely beautiful do I like a lot, you know, I mean, I want some good jewelry, right? I, it doesn't have to be super expensive, but I do like nice costume jewelry. And I think that fits the bill right there. Okay, so let's go to the next trend. And that is the pearls, statement necklace as pearls. And so the two that I'm showing you, one is $100 and the other is $5.88. And so the first one is a beautiful, uh, you know, layered pearl set. And that was from Saks. It's uh, by Kenneth J. Lane. It's $100. And then the second is Time and True from Walmart for $5.88. And you know what? 
If you want real pearls, obviously it's a great investment because they never, are, they're never gonna go out of style. But I picked this up several years ago. I don't know what I paid for it, really, probably no more than $50, I would say. And I've worn it a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. I can't even tell you where I got it. But it's funny because there are many, many times I think, do I, am I done with this? Am I done with this? And I'm so glad that I didn't give it away because I get to wear it again. All right, let's look at the next style of pearl. So we've seen statement stones, statement pearls, and now drop necklaces. So if you don't like huge jewelry, you can still make a statement with a drop necklace. So there are two there from Paparazzi. I think I like the first one the best. It's got silver on it, so if you can wear silver, that's good. Obviously, not real silver. But I like the stone, so it kind of covers both of the trends, right? Statement and stones and drop. So there you go, statement necklace with the stones and the drop. Uh, I think it's beautiful. The second one covers our fifth trend, which is Western core. We've covered that a couple times. But this one is from the Pioneer Woman from Walmart, Walmart brand. It was $12 and something. And oh my word, right? And so I don't have an expensive drop necklace to show you, but I think... Those three just fit the bill absolutely beautifully. Next, statement earrings. And statement earrings are showing up this season in a number of ways. One I'm not showing you on here, but it's called a statement stud. And in our academies, I don't know if you all know, we train women to be color consultants and image consultants. And in our academy recently, I did continuing ed for our graduates and I did a whole trend report for them, so they have it for their businesses. I talked about statement studs, and those are earrings that are like a stud. You remember when you had your ears pierced and you had like the little post? Well, these are just bigger statement studs, like one piece. But what I wanna show you today are the statement earrings that are also trending that are crystallized, sparkly. They have uh, some glitz to it. It kind of like says, hey, here I am, but yet you can wear it with your jeans. And so the first pair is from Saks and they were $350. The second one is Paparazzi for $5. And I mean, I don't know that you can tell much of a difference. I'm sure one is diamonds, maybe, or is cubic zirconi or something. But if it's a trend and you're not gonna wear it next year, or even if you are, there you go, there you go. All right, a third trend that I did not talk to my people about, and I need to get back to them, my, my consultants and tell them, that's that's in, and this is gonna help you with the, the activity I have for you at the end, are brooches. Brooches are back, but big brooches, not just little brooches, big brooches. And the one, okay, I'm showing these side by side. Honestly, you guys, they look pretty similar. One is from Paco Rabanne, $246. The other, Walmart, $4.70. And so you might be able to go to your grandmother's jewelry box, your mother's, your sisters, your aunts, or the activity that I'm gonna show you at the end. But brooches are showing up on lapels, on uh, travel wraps, on winter coats, on trench coats, just beautiful. And then the fourth trend I am showing you are cuffs and bracelets, and bigger cuffs and bracelets. And so, you know, I know some of you don't like to wear big cups and bracelets. So if this trend isn't for you, then, you know, pass it on by. But I couldn't resist showing you these two bracelets. One is from David Yerman, $1,200. The other is from Paparazzi, $5. And yeah, there's a difference, obviously, when you get them and put them on, for sure, there's a difference. But, you know... If you don't want to spend $1,200, 
you can go for the $5 one, but at least you know what to look for when you're out and about. If you see something that looks like these, obviously the David Yerman one, Yerman one is $1,200, I mean, is sterling silver. And the paparazzi one is not. Yes, there's a big difference in the way they look, but would it complete an outfit? Absolutely. Oh my goodness, even if it was $5. And actually, there's two there that I'm showing you from paparazzi that are both $5. So I, I think it's nice. I think they're both beautiful. I didn't realize I had that picture there. And then the fifth trend is Western Core. I'm just doing one photo for you on this, just to show you like, I'll, I don't go crazy on it. Done a couple videos already uh, on, the, on the Western Core trend, but I loved this photo. I mean, she probably lives in Texas. Maybe she owns a ranch and she, I mean, but look at that jewelry. Even like one or two of those pieces worn together, yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, that necklace is to die for. And so, oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. All right. Now the activity I have for you, I'm going to show you some pictures here. I was in Texas a couple of weeks ago with, we call ourselves the Fab Five. It is Jill Savage, Susan C., Katie McCown, Barb Roos. The five of us get together once a year in person and once a month on Zoom and hold each other accountable in our businesses. All authors and writers, them way more than me. What we all got together kind of as speakers, I actually am the one that started us out together, grabbed, you know, put us together as a team, as a group. And we have been together for five years. And so when we were together a couple of weeks ago for Katie's new book, and if you need a great new Bible study, it's called She Belongs, highly recommend it. Pop up a picture there, a link in the description. But we did a jewelry swap and you guys can do this with your friends. And I'm telling you, you get to bring home some new pieces that maybe you, you first of all, you don't have to go out and buy anything new. And it's something now that you know the trends, you know what to look for when you are you lay everything out. You can see there how we did it. Everything was laid out on the table. And then we drew numbers. We took turns, went around and everybody was helping each other. This would look great on you. This would look great on you. And I'm telling you guys, it is such a fun way to get together with your friends and to get some new things. And it doesn't matter how many, some people might bring two things and others might bring eight because they want to get rid of it. They might bring 20, who knows, but just go have fun, do it. I think you could even do it as an outing, a girl's night out at church. If you're going to do it that way in a bigger way, then you need to draw numbers. And if somebody brings eight pieces, they get to take eight things home. If somebody brings two, unless you don't care. And then the leftovers, there were a few things left over that nobody took. Katie, since she lives in Texas, took them to her local uh, place where she donates. And so to help, you know, others. And they were great. They just weren't great for us. So I hope I will see you on September 7th. Mark that on your calendar. I think you probably noticed by now we're we're going a new format starting probably in October for YouTube. So we're kind of transitioning in. We're going to do two uh, videos a month until then as we until we launch. We might continue at two, but we want the quality to go up. We've got some big plans coming. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you will. And I will see you on September 7th, Style by Color. Join that Facebook page. Just all you have to do is, you know, follow it. And I'll see you over there. All right.